find the wavelength of a 440 hertz sound uh, as it propagates through air at a speed of 340 meters per second. So what equation do we use here? Well, it's going to be the equation that we learned that relates frequency, which we're given here, to velocity and wavelength. And as I hope you can remember, that's going to be V equals F lambda. So we're given F, we're given V, and we're trying to find lambda. So we rearrange the equation so that lambda is the subject of the equation. Then all we need to do is substitute our values for V and F. That will give us an answer of 340 over 440, or 0 0.77 meters. So that means that the wavelength of the sound wave is 77 centimeters. So part B is asking us how long will the wavelength be if instead we're traveling through water at a much, much faster speed? Assuming, of course, that our frequency stays the same. So once again, we'll be using V equals F lambda, and once again, we'll be rearranging it. Lambda equals V on F. This time though, instead of, substi instead of substituting in 340, we'll be substituting in 1490 meters per second. So that'll give us this answer, which we can evaluate with a calculator to find that our wavelength will be 3.39 meters. This means that if we have two waves of the same frequency, but one that is in, uh, one is moving very fast and one is moving very slow, then the fast one will have a longer wavelength. We can see that from this first equation here. If F stays the same, but V increases, then lambda must also increase. 